That is heavy. No wonder your arms are so big just taking this thing around. Goodness gracious. Oh, hey guys, what's up? How you doing? We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, things get a little flashy in Las Vegas, so what better way than to introduce who we're collabing with today than by getting a little flashy on you. What, what is this? None other than a Super Bowl ring. Probably one of the most iconic Super Bowls of all time. And that leads me into my introduction of my man, Steve Weatherford. It's been a long time coming for this intro. But, but what you guys don't understand oh, is, man. that's actually, a, I got that out of a gumball machine. A gumball. You know, if they start putting these in gumball machines, people go broke real fast. You, you see that, it hits the, it hits the, you're gonna have to watch out in here. Somebody might try to steal this. We're here, Olympia weekend is upon us. It's absolute madness here at City Athletic, but we're gonna smash some arms tonight. We got Armageddon, yes. Steve Weatherford's program. Yes. Something you've been I working mean, on. I just got done doing big, so I feel like now I'm, re now I'm ready, ready for to go. Armageddon. You're looking big. Hey, what are you weighing right now, 240? 240 in the depth. 240, Hunter. How does that look? Is it, look, you hit it. You're ready to step on stage. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to flex, but I can do some arms though. He's pretty damn amazing. Been on tons of magazine covers. NFL player, 10 year vet. Guy could punt a football. And then also, he looked like a middle linebacker. So definitely a guy that knows his way around the gym. We're gonna let him kill me in an arm workout today. And then you know what? I just might walk around town all week and just like, hey, how I'm, you doing? Dude, I'm married, so that does nothing for me. <laughs> That's yours the rest That's of the weekend. That's true, huh? That's just the rest of the weekend. A little drag curl with a little modification. When I do my drag curls, I just drag it all the way up. This one we drag about three quarters of the way up and then rotate to finish it off. It's super busy in here, so hopefully we get on all the machines we want. Blow those biceps up before our big day tomorrow at the Olympia. Supersetting the drag curl with the reverse easy bar curl. We're hitting, was it 10? 10 here, 10, 10 here, and then we're gonna move the weight up okay. from set to set, but the first one's kind of a little bit of a warm up, just pumping some blood in the muscle. Come on. Ten of that. Woo! What are your arms stretching the tape by these days? Probably 19. 192-ish. Good thing, I brought a tape measure in my bag tonight, so we're gonna, I'm just kidding. Yeah! <laughs> All right, full disclosure, 18.9. I don't know, I, I haven't measured my arms in a minute. Now I'm thinking like, I'd be I'd be happy if mine were 18 and a half right now. No, yours is the The key is, I always line up a arm workout that either drops on a Thursday or a Friday before the Olympia. So either Friday or Saturday at the Olympia, we got a good pump. Come on. Nice. Hitting different, I mean, obviously we're training biceps here. We're really trying to target that upper outer part of the biceps. And then as we bring it back up here. The thing that kills you the most is like that eccentric when you get to the top. Right. And then back typically down. Typically we just come back down, but yep. you have to come back down to here and then back down. It makes you so think you about that. Oh, for sure. It's so much more of a mind muscle connection. The man, the myth, the legend. Steve Cook, damn man, one, two, one, two. <laughs> boys. Nice. Come on. I was like, I like when we work out because I feel like I'm giving myself a pep talk. Come on, Steve. Great arm, great arm, that a boy. I feel the same way Good when, I, when I say yeah. Steve to someone else. It feels weird. We're making do because this gym is absolute madness tonight. Obviously with the Olympic going in town, this is kind of the gym to be at. So have you ever done these in this in this setting? No. 
Steve Weatherford usually has a bench and a cable apparatus, but you know what? He ain't too proud to lay down on the floor and Where smash there's a wheel, there's a way. <laughs> All right, so the training philosophy for Armageddon was something that I kind of took my background and experience from the greatest strength and conditioning coaches in the entire world, which were my strength and conditioning coaches over my 10 year NFL career. And then um, took some advices from bodybuilder types like Steve Cook and Mike O'Hearn and these uh, different friends that I've made in the fitness industry and really kind of created a hybrid between athletic performance and strength. It's, it's been a lot of fun because I guinea picked this on myself and I've had small arms my entire life and I was able to make more progress in the 90 days once I formulated this program. I made more progress in 90 days than I did in nine years. And so it was a lot of fun for me because I had finally achieved what I had been trying to do for like 18 years in the gym earlier. So, I mean, diet plays a, a huge role as well, but this type of training, I'm able to increase my strength, but also aesthetically increase the size and the shape of the muscle. So I've noticed since I've started doing this, my muscles and my arms are more rounded and it's more of that aesthetic look, so that beach muscle look. And uh, it's been fun and I'm super, super excited to be able to share this with people because there's so many people out there who, who have the same struggle and they have stubborn arms. And so, uh, you know, look good, feel good, play good. This is part of it. Hey Steve. Yes sir. Can you give Chan Man my, my American Express? You need to go get some Benadryl, bro. You're stung? You're stung? I'm, I'm swelling. Nobody has the one-liners that this man has. It's accumulation of years of football. Coaches and strength it's coaches. Old, you're right, it's old coaches. Woo! Good work. Good work. That's one thing about Steve. I've only trained with him like three times. He goes so hard in the paint. You got it when you train He's with so this guy. So hard in the paint. When you train with my man Steve, you got guys like Michael Heron. You got these dudes, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show up or else you're gonna get shown up. But I make up with so much with what I lack in talent, because I just grind. Nah, I just grind. If you guys don't, if you guys don't watch a show on Spike, you're missing out too. So Steve's show on Spike, Playbook 360. Playbook 360. They got you doing all sorts of different things. I mean, it's like I get paid. You were in a helicopter the other day? I get paid to do things like you and I would like pay money. Right. Money. I've gone Olympic snowboarding with the greatest Olympic snowboarder of all time. Uh, I went to SWAT school in LA. Um, I just recently went skydiving with the GoPro Bomb Squad. I went to Olympic fencing school. What uh, would have been your favorite? You had to pick one. Probably, probably skydiving with the GoPro Squad. That was cool. Yeah, that was really we were doing cool. like flips and it was pretty gnarly, man. I want to get skydiving certified. Yeah. All right, for our final bicep tricep, it's our tricep for our biceps. That's kind of a mouthful right there. We're doing standing. Most people have biceps. But but Steve's are so big, they're actually a tricep on the front. A, a tricep a with a bicep. <laughs> so what we're doing here, standing, cable we're curls standing for 10. For 10. And I like to do this last, because you're burning up all the glycogen you have left in, in storage, you know what I mean? Good. Okay, off the knee. Oh, I like these. Three, one. Now we're laying down. Should have brought my, my small grenade from half man. He does have one. Would have been 20. Hey. Oh. Nice work. Nice work. Uh. 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 On that last one, you just go so you can't do anymore. We're gonna see how how we oh yeah, we're we're not passing the test. We can't can't touch. There's some blood we in there. We can't touch. There's some blood in there. Oh I, I, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to measure my arms one of these days. Jump on the arm again, plan and watch them grow again. So let's go get some Benadryl. Woo! Got stung tonight. All right, so now we're gonna be doing triceps, but it's gonna be on my man Steve's channel. Where can they watch? Steve Weatherford YouTube. And I'm all, I'm always Snapchatting. Always, always. This man Snapchat at night. I have to watch it in bed. I, I can either watch it Netflix or I can watch Steve Weatherford's Snapchat. Sometimes and, they're as long as a movie. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I, I'm like. I watched him for Ron Brown, though. I'm not gonna lie. When she was playing at the countertop the other night, I'm like, yo, that is my little sister. It makes me feel 100%. like I'm watching my family growing up. So, appreciate you. Absolutely oh, killed oh, my oh, biceps. Oh, 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 oh. Kill from one Steve to another. Absolutely killed my biceps. Okay, we're gonna go do triceps. In the next video, we're gonna go switch it up. Make sure you check it out on his channel.